So this video is to show you how to get a Factory Talk activated product onto a computer that does not have internet access. This also is geared around using Factory Talk activation 3.62.11. Uh, later versions of the activation uh, Factory Talk activation work a little differently, but this is the older version. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta get to a computer that does actually have internet access and, and that's what you see or or yeah you're going to have a computer that has internet access. The first computer you see me on right here does not have internet access. It, it can't get out. So how do I go about doing that? First thing I gotta do is I have to get a USB stick and plug into the computer that does not have internet access. So that, that's the first thing I must do in it. And as you can see, I've done that already. I've got a computer or a USB stick that uh, plugged into the computer that does not have internet access. I'm going to go into Factory Talk Activation Manager. And once I get into Factory Talk Activation Manor Manager, I'm going to go into Manage Activations, Get New Activations, and you're going to notice this. It says I need to start an activation process by creating a host ID, or I need to download activation files that need to be moved and move them to this computer. This is also an indication that you don't have internet access from this computer because it says something entirely different if you do. So, and this video was shot for the purpose of being able to do this, so we don't have internet access, we're gonna select that first one and then we're gonna say specify a data file. And it's gonna ask us, where do we want to put this data file now? You gotta put this data file on a USB stick. You cannot Put it on the hard drive and then uh, move it over via uh, a network share or whatever. I tried that. I was unsuccessful at doing it. It has to be a USB stick. So I'm going to tell it, yeah, that's where I want it. I'm going to say get host IDs, and this happens to be the disk drive ID of this box that does not have internet access. And I'm going to say create data files. And that's pretty much the step for that. Now if we go in and I open up that E drive now, you're going to notice that I have this FTA manager .data file. That's the file we're going to need. So the next step is to take the USB stick and plug it into the computer that has internet access. And that's what we're going to do next. So now I'm on a computer that has internet access. As you can see, yeah, I've got internet access. And if I go to the uh, eDrive, you'll see that my file is there. So I've moved that USB stick onto the computer that's got internet access. If I go into uh, Rockwell Software, Factory Talk Activation, and I go to Manage Activations, and I say Get Activations, I'm going to download this activation to a removable storage device. I'm going to click that. I'm going to specify where that device is. In my case, it's the E drive. And I'm going to say enter activation information. Now, at this point, this is where you're going to need your uh, Factory Talk activation certificate to enter this information in. So let me get mine and we'll put that information in. So, my serial number for this. Purpose is serial number product ID. Now, where it says host ID information, this is where I'm going to go out and import that host ID. So I'm going to go to the e drive and I'm going to say open that, import that, and say select. Now, it's, it used that file that was created on USB to get the host ID for the computer that does not have internet access. Remember, I'm on the computer right now that does have internet access. So I'm gonna go and do all that, and I'm good there, and I'm gonna say download the activation. Now, what, the, what it has done is it's take, taking the activation file, and it has actually placed it on USB stick. 
underneath activations the name of the computer that I'm trying to get the activation for base is the name of the computer which is the one that does not have internet access and this is the activation file for it so now at this point we just got to go back to the computer that does not have internet access plug this USB stick in and then import it into it so let's do that now so now I'm back on the computer that does not have any, that does not have internet access click on here we can see that USB stick I've now moved it back to the computer it doesn't have internet access I've got my activation file on there so now all I got to do is open up uh, if I had to talk activation manager again and I, I'm, and I must say that I found this to be important at each one of these steps I'm closing down the activation manager so I would encourage you to do that uh, I think and I've tried this a couple times that seemed to make things go a little smoother so I'm going to do manage activations I'm going to get activations because I don't have internet access it says I have downloaded the activation file and need to move it into this computer so what it's telling me there is it's going to take it from that that USB stick and now put them on this computer and it wants me to specify the location of that file so I'm going to say yep that's what I want to do this is where I'm going to put it from you can browse for it if you needed to so you just browse to where that uh, file is. Remember, we sh showed you that a few minutes ago. That's on the E drive, activations, the name of the computer, activations, name of the computer, E drive is the USB stick. So I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to say move activations. So now the activations have been moved to this computer. And if we go in and look advanced, refresh the server. go back to the activations manager refresh that we can see that it actually is on this computer now so I've, I've able to I've been able to take an activation get it onto a computer that does not have internet access the other thing I will say that's very very important pay attention I am using version 3.6211 the newer versions of factor talk activation manager work a little bit different this is for folks that have this particular version or or I, I, I would say maybe previous versions they've kind of changed this uh, activation manager as time has rolled on but it's a little bit the verbiage and the way it works is a little bit different in 3.62 versus the latest ones or the newer ones so just want to put this out there and so that y'all guys have it in case you are trying to do this with it with an older version of the activation manager manager thanks and I hope this helps